Hi everyone, it's good to see all of you again. And if you are someone who loves Thai food, this particular video is for you. So let's start the cooking. The seafood that we are going to cook today is the Arrowhead Squid. A colleague of mine actually uh, helped me to go to the wet market and buy this squid and the uh, fishmonger actually helped her to uh, at least to clean up the guts and the ink and of course taking out the eyes of the squid as well so let's start to cut the squid into the pieces that we want to cook for today's dish okay first we will handle the head um, i like to cut the tentacles small pieces yeah. Divide the heat into half. Okay, and maybe even into a quarter. Yes. Okay, and this part, half it. After cutting the head of the squid, the body, uh, what I do, uh, what I have done is actually I remove the skin and then I cut them into rings for today's dish. So once this is all done, put the squid into the fridge and then we can start to prepare the rest of the ingredients for today's cooking. First, we will heat up some oil and then, uh, you know, as usual, let the oil coat the pan. And then, after that, the first thing that we want to do is just to put in those uh, chopped garlic, about one tablespoon. Next, I will put in all the onions that we have cut up. Just cook the onion and the garlic for a short while. Next, we're going to put in that sauce that we have prepared. Oh, the curry smells so good. Okay, because it's uh, milk and um, Egg base, so you have to keep stirring it. If not, you get stuck to the pan. And um, we will put the squid towards the last because we want the squid to be cooked nicely. Don't overcook the squid. Okay, now we will drop the squid in. Keep on stirring so that the sauce will not stick to the base of the pan. And also, this is to ensure that the squid uh, also properly cook. For me, normally, I will not cook the squid more than two minutes. Now is the time to put in the chili that we have prepared to give it a little bit of uh, heat. And I can see the squid uh, changing color slowly. It's um, almost done. So we we'll just to keep on stirring for a while. The last element is now all the parsley leaves. Yes, 
you can put as much as you like if you like parsley and the squid are already cooked and uh, I can really really smell the curry powder is so and so much of aroma, aroma to the dish okay we should off the heat now and we can start to plate our beautiful squid dish for today's cooking Wow, the smell of the curry makes me so hungry now. Mm. Okay, let's um, try the squid first. Here. Mm -hmm. Wow, the squid are fresh and they are cooked perfectly. Big one over here. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. It's very important that when you cook the squid Personally, I, I am quite particular about the timing And I rather that it's a little bit uncooked than it's overcooked And if you, if you, depending on the size of the squid If it's the smaller ones, maybe you can reduce it to about one and a half minutes uh -huh. Mm. Oh, the whole dish is very, very flavorful. The squid is, has a nice, soft, tender texture. The gravy, which is like a, a which is a milk and a egg base, has a good balance with um, sweetness coming from the large onion, a little bit of a saltiness coming from the oyster sauce or rather the soy sauce and then the, a little bit of heat coming from the chili so overall mmm mamma mia or rather in this case aroi mak mak this is so so good brings me back to Thailand mmm so let me finish my dish and enjoy my meal Wow, this recipe is really good. The smell of the curry is like, oof. and uh, the, the dish has a good balance of like uh, uh, spiciness, saltiness, and uh, sweetness. And the squid was cooked perfectly, very tender, very fresh. Mm -hmm. So I hope you like this recipe. Give it a try. And uh, meanwhile, take care, everyone, and I will see you soon. Bye bye.